Hey guys, welcome back to Top 5 Scary Videos. I'm Lucy McPhee, and oh boy do we have a doozy for you today. As a lover of horror and the controversial, I've compiled a list of some of the most shocking films to be released and the gruesome nature they behold. Now I've picked only those that are enjoyable and not just snuff films that will leave you scarred for eternity. So this is the Top 5 Most Controversial Scary Films. Under the storm, believe it or not, there she is. Before we begin though, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're a fan of horror and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Okay, let's jump in. In at 5, The Last House on the Left. Released in 1972 and directed by Wes Craven, this film caused quite the stir upon its release, to the point of getting banned in the United Kingdom until 2000. Yeah, pretty bad. So why was it so controversial? Well, to start, the film follows the story of a young teenage girl, Mary, who was kidnapped by a gang of ruthless thugs and mercilessly tortured and raped in the woods. It's an absolutely horrific ordeal and when trying to escape to her family home, which is close by, she is shot in the back and murdered. The gang proceed to go to a nearby house to disguising themselves as salesmen, unbeknownst to them however, they pick the wrong house and end up seeking shelter in the home of Mary's parents. What ensues is a bloody showdown between the parents and the gang. It is a devastating but justified battle. However, the murder of Mary herself was unjust and thus banned and added to the list of video nasties. In 2000 though, the film was once again presented to the BBFC and it garnered an 18 certificate and in 2003 it was released on DVD after 31 seconds of cuts were made to the scenes that depicted sexual violence. In 2008, the uncut version of the film was finally made available to the public on wide release. Though tragic and terrifying, the film has over time become a cult classic and a perfect addition to your Halloween movie watching list. In at 4, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Released in 1974, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is an American horror directed by Toby Hooper and of course, it received mixed reviews. Los Angeles Times called it despicable and Roger Ebert classed it as violent and gruesome and blood soaked. In classic British fashion, the BBFC refused a certification for the uncut version of the film, as well as refused to release it on home video. However, in 1999, after the director of the BBFC retired, the film was finally released in theatres with an 18 certificate, 25 years after its original release. I can only apologise for us Brits and our moral code. The film focuses on a bunch of teens visiting the grave of one of their grandparents after reports of vandalism and grave robbing. Following this, they pick up a hitchhiker, cause the 70s, and this is where things Things unravel for the group. The hitchhiker takes a pocket knife from the group, slashing himself and one of the teens in the car. They kick him out and then proceed on. After searching for gas, they stumble upon a nearby homestead, and what emerges is a disturbing leather face, chainsaw in tow. The film is bloody and gruesome, but what do you expect from a film with chainsaw and massacre in the title? In at three, The Exorcist. Now, some of you younger viewers might be surprised that we included this on our list, but oh boy, was this film poorly received on its release, and not just by the public but the Vatican. Let's go back to Britain for a moment. The film was released in 73 but didn't receive distribution in the UK until the 1990s. Hard to believe. Prior to that it was submitted numerous times to the BBFC for certification but was repeatedly denied. The film was only first shown on TV in the UK in 2001. For those of you who don't know, the film follows an exorcism of a young girl who is being tormented by a demon. Now, in my opinion, the only shocking part of this film is the exorcism itself and the acts the young child must perform at the hands of the demon. She repeatedly stabs herself with a crucifix, vomits over the priest, and even slashes her own body. It's disturbing and arguably the scariest film that has ever been produced. In a dramatic turn of events, the director of the film announced in 2016 that he had been invited by the Vatican to film a real life exorcism, which he described as being remarkably similar to the 1973 film. He said, I quote, I don't think I'll ever be the same having seen this astonishing thing. I'm not talking about some cult, I am talking about an exorcism by the Catholic Church in Rome. Chills. In at 2, Cannibal Holocaust. Now this is where things get heavy. Cannibal Holocaust is a 1980 Italian horror that garnered a ridiculous amount of controversy, but I can't say it was unwarranted. Upon its premiere in Milan, the film was confiscated and the director arrested on murder charges as people believed the acts of violence depicted in the film were real. It also doesn't help matters that the director made the cast sign a contract that banned them from starring in any other productions until a year after in order to maintain the film 
film's integrity and to promote the idea that the film was actually found footage. During the director's trial, three of the actors were called upon and you guessed it, they were all alive. The director then went on to show how he created some of the most infamous scenes in the film and eventually all murder charges were dropped against him. So we have the backstory, but what was the film about? Well, it follows an American film crew that disappears in the Amazon rainforest and are captured by an indigenous tribe and brutally killed. As a horror lover myself, this film is even a lot for me to swallow, so if you're feeling adventurous, maybe check it out this Halloween. But remember, you have been warned. Finally in at number one, Freaks. You will never find the uncut version of this film. Ever. Released in 1932 and directed by Todd Browning, this film resulted in 30 minutes being cut from its original raw time. Regardless of the amendments made to it, the film was still poorly received by viewers. The Kansas City Star wrote, I quote, There is no excuse for this picture. It took a weak mind to produce it and it takes a strong stomach to look at it. And Harrison's report stated, Anyone who considers this entertainment should be placed in a psychiatric ward in some hospital. Well, I guess I should be heading there now then, because I love this film. And in later years so do many more, including the creators of American Horror Story, who drew inspiration from it for their season 4 titled Freak Show. Freaks follows a travelling circus and more specifically a trapeze artist conspiring to kill the sideshow midget in order to inherit his wealth. What drew criticism though was the use of, I quote, real freaks. It was of course banned for a number of years but resurfaced at a handful of midnight movie screenings in the states. Well there we have it, have you guys seen any of these films? Were there any that we missed on our list? Let us know below and perhaps we can do a part two. While you're down there, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can be notified every time we post a new scary vid. And until next time, see you later.